As one community celebrated law enforcement tonight, another community mourned the lives lost in recent mass shootings. 17's Karen Waugh was at Bakersfield College tonight where they held a vigil for victims of gun violence. Karen? Well, the numbers are heartbreaking. 22 shot down at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas, nine killed at a nightlife district in Dayton, Ohio, and three slain at the Gilroy Garlic Festival right here in California. That attack now being investigated as domestic terrorism. These are tragic events. They were horrifying events, and it really impacted some students. Gilroy, El Paso, and Dayton. 34 dead from mass shootings all within the past week. This can happen at a college campus. It can happen to us in a classroom. Bakersfield College preparing for the worst to hit home. So we will be boosting up our active shooter training protocols and uh, drills on campus. The BC student government held a vigil honoring the lives lost to gun violence. The sick community also held a vigil Sunday. Violence is getting more and more. We need to bring love back among the people. And in Delano, Hi. Kennedy High's football team dedicated their season to El Paso. And this is our team, and I just wanted you all to know that we are what? El Paso strong! But vigil after vigil, some are wondering if thoughts and prayers will be enough. So do you think we need gun control? Yes, we do. I believe so. But that is my personal view. In Kern County, there have been 61 homicides this year, according to our homicide tracker. 49 of those, more than 80 percent, have been due to gun violence. Now, BC student government is working with public safety to put on active shooter workshops. These are open to the public, and you can find more information on their website, bakersfieldcollege.edu. I'm Karen Hua, 17 News.